welcome to another Under the Banda. Thanks for tuning in. This week's Under the Banda is a little bit different than what you're used to. We're going to be showing you um, a lot of footage of what we've been doing during the last couple of weeks. You'll know that we've had visitors here, our lovely daughter Beth and her lovely husband Sam. We've had a great two weeks. We've done lots of fun things. We've relaxed together, we've laughed, we've talked. We've done ministry together, we've visited schools together and churches and it's just been a really, really great trip. And you know, when I look back on some of the footage that you're about to watch, it makes me very grateful for what God is allowing us to be doing with our lives right now. Sometimes when you let things maybe crowd in, it can get scary, it can get lonely. But when you see a result like you're going to see today it makes it all worthwhile because some of the lives that even we touched within the last couple of weeks their lives literally changed overnight the kids that you're going to see in their little uniforms now the instruments that they got to play with the the word that John got to preach the things that we got to share in the church up on a mountain in a place called Luita which you've seen us film from before it makes it all worthwhile and so I suppose before we get into things let me ask you that question, because I trust that as a believer, that your life is worthwhile and that you feel like at least once a week or maybe twice a day or whatever, that you help someone and you impact their lives. All it takes sometimes is a smile. Sometimes all it takes is a text to say, how are you doing today? I'm thinking about you. I was praying for you. How are you? Make your life count. Even today, maybe you've woken up today and you're not in such a great mood or things you don't feel are going right in your life, well, have a think about what you're about to see, and I think it will give you some perspective of how lives in the West are so much better than lives here, on lots of levels. On some levels, I do think that they've got it right more right here than we have there, but there's also in so many ways that we can help one another. We can help overseas. Maybe you can't go overseas. Maybe you're not able to travel but you can help those of us that are able to travel and Sam and Beth did a great job with this project again the, you're going to see the results of that just in a, in a few minutes as you continue to watch this broadcast the first bit of the clip we're going to show you is when we went on safari which even though I've done it lots and lots of times I never tire of seeing God's creation in its natural environment so we hope you enjoy that and then as you look on the lives of those that we've affected over the past two weeks, pray for them. We have the chance to be a part of these children's lives at least for a long, long time. They've literally just started their education in a school that you helped us begin and you helped us start. And so we have a chance to help them and see them make it to become all that God has created them to be. So we really hope you enjoy this under the banda. I guess things will resume back to normal next week, but for now, enjoy this new way of doing under the banda. God bless you. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a part of what we do. Enjoy. <laughs>
Remember way back when with our paper and our pens Wondering whose sad tales we could borrow We'd take them then we'd spend them like the daylight would never end Said we'd think about the consequence tomorrow When there'd be oh Sam and Beth have been doing a, a, a music workshop so we're so excited to be involved here and uh, if you've been one of the people who's helped us to do this we want to say a big big thank you to you. It's a great privilege to be involved in, uh, in kids lives so bless you and uh, you it's good time. to yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye from Louita from New Creation Bye School. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.